it's Viviana and today I'm jumping on the bandwagon. So for the past few weeks there has been a trend going around where YouTubers try to follow other YouTubers makeup tutorial but I don't do makeup tutorials and even if I was supposed to try to do someone else's makeup tutorial I wouldn't have half the products. And that's when I thought, why not try to do another YouTuber's hair tutorial? I know, it's practically an original idea now. So quite a few persons came readily to my mind, but then I decided to type into the YouTube search bar, hair tutorial. And of course, it gave me like the extension, you know, like the prediction kind of thing. And I saw for short hair. I'm like, okay, YouTube, hair tutorials for short hair because you know I have short hair so I clicked on for short hair a very interesting list came up well duh Viviana you never type in hair tutorial for short natural hair silly me and I was about to redefine my search options but I decided this would be a little more interesting and fun interesting and fun so from my top results from youtube i have decided to follow a hair tutorial from laura lee so i know what you're thinking her hair is longer than mine i saw it too but in the video she's actually doing her niece's hair and her niece has about the same length hair as i do kind of my hair is a little longer when stretched. And the title of the video is 15 Heatless Hairstyles for Short Hair. I'll have the video listed below. Um, I'm not gonna do all 15 styles, okay? Um, no. However, I'll go through a few, maybe do about three or four, depending on how easy they are to do, and <laughs> they should be fun. I have a guest star today. This is my 12 year old niece, Erin. She's warming up to the camera. Warm her up, warm her up. Before you leave, be sure to subscribe. Yay, subscribe to my channel. Click the button down below. Hey, finish these other sentences, see? We're already finishing each other's sentences. Subscribe guys, Laura Lee said it. <laughs> you got the stick. Get off, you no, love I'm me. I'm being a girl, you like. Get it. Can you get it? Rub your finger. Say, mm-car. Mm-car. So we really hope you do enjoy them. Um, I think it's awesome because with short hair, you feel like you're limited, but you're really not limited on hairstyles. Trust me, I have a lot of tutorials on my short hair and you're not limited at all, okay? Because long hair is just too much to work with. Jumping right in our first tutorial, I'm going to put the hair in two low piggy tails, just part the hair down the center, and then put it in two pigtails, and then I'm going to spray it with some texturizing spray and tease each bun. Next, I'm going to wrap each piggy tail around in a circle and take a small elastic and just tie it around twice, and you have a low space bun. So cute. I do the exact same thing to the other side, obviously. And then you can bobby pin any hairs that shoot out or the buns hang low. You can pin them up tight like I'm doing this one. And this really works great for short hair. Okay, so this was my first little cute space bun. I gathered all my hair and I twirled it around the piggy tail. Piggy, what she call it? Each piggy tail. And I know this isn't my tutorial or anything, but I'm gonna show you a variation to the bun to the other side for persons with a little thicker head of hair. So instead of taking all my hair and trying to wrap it all around my po my piggy tail, I am going to take my piggy tail and I'm gonna open up the same top. Then I'm going to part a section of my open the piggy tail and then wrap it around the piggy tail. And instead of using elastic bands, I'm going to use a scrunchie so that it doesn't tear or break my hair. Okay, and this is my other space bun. I'm not used to calling them space buns. I'm Jamaican, we just call them bun. <laughs> but yeah, first style complete. And here you were thinking this tutorial would be strange or awkward. 
Our next hairstyle is a super elegant one and I love it. I part the hair down the middle and twist it and just pin it with like two bobby pins. And then I do the same thing to the other side. From the right side, I twist it and then I bring it over to the left side and then I just apply two bobby pins. And then you have like two pieces of hair hanging off each side. So what you're gonna do is start tucking those hairs in randomly and pinning them. You just twist them and push them in and bobby pin them. Um, and then it turns out to be a really nice, elegant look. You just kind of play with it and make it your own, but this will be great for a wedding or bridesmaid hair, especially for short hair, Hey. So, I don't know if it's because her knee's head is smaller than mine, or because my hair is a lot thicker than hers, but my twists were not crossing over as smoothly as hers was. And I can't think of any other reason because two of us hair short. I mean, I wouldn't quite say it was a wedding or a bridesmaid kind of style, but it can work. Okay, this next hairstyle is a little less involved. All you take is two pieces of hair from the sides of the head and you do them in a regular braid, a fish braid, whatever type of braid you want to do. And then you bobby pin them back and it gives you a nice pretty look and it literally took me two minutes to do this look. My hair is in a wash and go right now, but I imagine this style looking really nice with a twist out or a braid out or a satin braid out. Our next hairstyle is a creative one. I just take the top of the hair and put it in a little bun, flopping the end pieces over on top of the forehead. And then I'm gonna be making faux bangs. How cute! And you don't have to commit to real bangs. Okay, all right. I'm really here contemplating whether or not to even try this one. <laughs> you know what? I don't see texture. I don't see texture. I don't see texture. So then I pin the piece of shooting off to the side and it secures the bangs. I got this little headband at Forever 21. You I got my bandana from the wholesale. And then just pin the headband to the hair and it's just like bangs for the day. But you don't have to commit. Isn't it wonderful? Well, damn. I really wasn't expecting this one to work out. <laughs> okay, nice one, Laura. Nice one. Our next hairstyle, we're gonna put the hair on a high ponytail on top of the head, and I'll show you how we take care of those hairs. They're gonna fall down in the back if you have short hair. Next, I'm gonna take my Whey texturizing spray. I obviously love the stuff. And then I tease the crap out of the hair. Just go crazy, get wild, get stupid. Okay, then I take the back pieces of hair and pin them. Okay, so this style is pretty much just a simple high bun, and because their hair does not have a lot of texture in it, the back tends to fall down. But I already got that problem, okay? I got texture. <laughs> but for me to create a high bun, I would need to detangle my hair and gel it down. And I don't want to go through all of that and totally ruin my wash and go. But I do have a high puff tutorial. So if you want to go check that out, I'll leave it up in the iCards. You should go check it out, I'm just saying. This one's a little bit easier. I took the hair and I put it halfway up and then I teased the back of it. Teasing hair just gives it a little more texture and it's a little bit easier to work with. And then I put it in a half bun and then I take a little piece of hair hanging off the bun and wrap it around the rubber band just to clean it up a little bit and literally that is it. It's just easy, two second hairstyle and it's so cute for short hair. I love it. So my bun ended up a little higher up on my head and not quite as messy but Still a nice style for short hair. For our next one, I had to bring the sister back in because she is like the queen of braids. Okay, let me stop singing. So what she's doing is Dutch braiding the hair to the top of the head. Um, you can French braid it to the top of the head, Dutch braid it to the top of the head, regular braid it, whatever your hearts desire. As you can see, my niece is so not enthused. <laughs> um. So looking at her braiding technique, her sister's braiding technique, it's a lot different from the braiding technique I know. She's literally plaiting the hair, then she's adding another section below it and plaiting the hair. When I am braiding, I kind of plait the hair while moving down on the scalp. It's different, okay? But hey, it looks like a braid. I guess it is a braid. 
So to get my neatest braid, I would normally detangle my hair before starting my cornrow. But since I don't want to totally frizz out my hair, I am going to try to cornrow it without detangling it first. But before she got to the end, she just braided the hair all the way down and then we secured it with rubber bands. So There's like a little tail. And then I gathered a little bit of her other hair with it and created a bun. And then I just secured it with a tiny a goodies elastic and pulled it through kind of like a top knot. How beautiful is this hairstyle? And it really didn't take too long. For our next one, it plays off the last one as well. Her hair is still French braided in the middle and we just put it in a half up, half down do. And then I put a rubber band around the piece hanging off. And then I gathered the rest of the hair and tie it all together. This is going to give kind of like a, kind of sort of like a Princess Jasmine vibe. And then to clean it up, I just take a piece of hair and wrap it around the rubber band. So I don't think I'm getting a Princess Jasmine look, but I really think this hairstyle looks nice. So I think I'm a hairstyle inventor now. <laughs> From one hairstyle inventor to the next, this hairstyle is cute. For our next one, we're gonna give like the illusion that half of her head is shaved. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of what I think it looks like. <laughs> My sister's just French braiding the hair to the side of the head. Okay, I see where this style is going. You can and I already have a tutorial similar to that where, you know, it looks like the side of my head is shaved and then with this side I did a twist out. It was really cute, okay? If you haven't seen it, I'll be sure to have it linked up in the eye card. So, you know, after watching this video, you can check it out. So for our last hairstyle, I take the hair on top of the head and I secure it with a rubber band. By the way, this is our last hairstyle. Um, hello, 15 hairstyle. Oh, my poor niece's head, she was so over it. it. Um, comment boogie woogie if you're here till the end of the video. How about you comment... Mm, Woogie boogie if you made it this far into the tutorial. Is this even considered a tutorial? So what I'm gonna do is flip the hair through the ponytail, creating a topsy tail, what we call it in the 90s. Finger, my finger lost. Okay, there it is. There it is. There's my finger. You see it? Ah. Okay, this looked a lot easier than it is right now. Ah, okay, I got two fingers in. No. <laughs> that just sounded really weird. Okay, inappropriate. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna pull. Shit. Fade. Hold on. Shh. It is topsy tail. It's fighting me. Okay, probably I should pull the elastic loose. I don't know what I'm doing. Shit. Ow. Ow. Last hairstyle, pull it together, put it together, Viv. Been doing well so far. <sighs> okay, so it's easier with less hair. So then I take the second section of hair and include that ponytail that was hanging down and I do the exact same thing. I just flip it through and it creates a knot like illusion and it is so cute. You can also finish it and secure it off but I left it like this and I thought it was just adorable. And I am not liking this hole at the front of my head from the topsy turn that gave me so much problem. So I'm going to add a gold bow and hopefully this Okay beauties, we're at the end of the video. Remember to comment woogie boogie if you made it this far. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Like, really, I did. Okay beauties, if you're new to my channel and you have not decided from this one video that you want to subscribe, all right, me not rush you too much. I'll leave some more of my videos up in the iCars so you can watch maybe a one or two more of my videos and then I will hope by then you would have decided that you want to subscribe because I mean if you sit down and watch one or two or three of my videos it means you have seen something here that you like so you should just subscribe so you can come back for more I mean it's just simple logics okay beauties thanks again for watching later Mwah. look at me and follow the white people that tutorial I am very curious to know now 
how much $50 did I save for the entire year of 2017? Let's bust this piggy open. I know for certain though it doesn't hold throughout the day. It probably gives me about an hour and a half of hold. I wish I got an hour and a half. Before I finish 